Hello everyone, this is Matthew from I Love Free Software TV. In this video, I will cover a portable Windows software to make unique sound effects for free. The name of this software is LapSherp, you can find a link to this software in the description of this video. Making sound effects with LabChirp is simple. This software has two sections, Wave, and Effects. All the sound creation happens in the Wave section. This section has 8 editable channel slots, you can enable any number of channels, and edit them individually. To create a sound, first, select a channel, and set the length for the sound effect. You can also add delay time. In this software, you can make sound effects by manipulating wave function, frequency modulation, and volume modulation parameters. You can set a value for all these parameters, and select a wave function for each parameter. This software offers sine, triangle, saw up, saw down, square, nose, and nose 2 wave functions. You can select any of these wave functions, and define an angle for that. This way, you can create a wave, and make a sound. Once you understand how this software works, you can dive deeper. Each parameter has a custom button which lets you customize that parameter on the graph. You can add new points either by the plus button, or by a single click on the graph. Then, you can define the waveform manually on the graph. You can produce sharp sounds by making the wave sharp, or soften their phasing by making the wave curvy. After making a wave, you can listen to its sound by clicking on the play button. Above the play button, there are mutator and randomizer buttons. With mutator, you can set a mutation percentage for all the functions, and apply that to current or all the channels. Whereas, with randomizer, you can create random sound presets in batches. The effect section has 6 sound effects that you can add to the main wave sound. For each effect, you can set the delay time, decay value, and interaction. Then you can apply that effect to any or all the channels. This way, you can add any number of effects to your sound. After creating a sound effect, you can set its audio quality in the quality tab from the menu bar. From there, you can select the bit depth and frequency for the audio. Then, you can save the sound as a laugh chirp file, or export it as a wave file. This way, you don't have to deal with any knobs and complex menus, you can simply make your own sound effects by defining a few parameters. You can easily create new and unique sound effects for games and other applications. If you like this video, Hit the thumbs up below and remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos.